bringing it home to the Napa Valley yes. and Cabernet Sauvignon Discovery Benchmark Edition. We talk about uh, Napa Valley, our marquee grape, of course, Cabernet Sauvignon. And when you talk about, you know, the heart of the valley, although all of the sub AVAs really do bring their own <clears throat> personality, Oakville is really, you know, front and center. Oh, so it, it, it is, it yeah. is the home of uh, Opus One. Who else is in Oakville? You Silver name it. Oak. I mean, Gala Valley, Harlan. Right, we are right in the heart of the valley. So it's so exciting to be able to share this Oakville Cabernet. So we're talking about Damn. benchmark wine and grape. Um, How did it's, you make that happen? <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, so this is a small project made by a winery that we've worked with before, Gibbs Vineyards, and they were mm -hmm. able to acquire some of this fruit, uh, this vintage, to craft a real nice expression of of Oakville Cabernet. Mm -hmm. What do we think? Oh man, this lacks nothing on the on the nose. There's like all these lush violets, there's like licorice, cassis, there's graphite, there's all these components to it that certainly put the stamp of approval for Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, beautiful, out of the 16 AVAs that you're mentioning, to have a heart, beautiful Oakville uh, proper uh, source, mm -hmm. money. It really has, it carries that finesse. It has that dark chocolate, it has the cherry, it has all of that richness that you want. Um, and then, you know, those that kind of tobacco and a little bit of oak that really makes it luxurious and lovely. Hmm. Very pretty, a lot of muscle. A lot of um, muscle. Food-wise, what do you think? I mean, uh, a, a grilled steak would be great, some roasted lamb. Those Certain types cheeses. Of, yeah, those types of kind of bigger, richer, richer mm -hmm. foods. Uh, mushroom risotto, with nice amount of like black truffle, I think would be really good. Yes, yeah. truffle party, delicious Napa delicious Valley wine. And in a glass. While we're while we're here drinking this beautiful wine, uh, we should we should talk about the 2020 vintage of which this is. Yes, indeed. You know, um, there definitely was a lot of press and a lot of attention to the vintage here in Napa. Mm -hmm. uh, we did have some fires, and I think it's worth noting that. Knowing a, knowing your producer and knowing when they yes. picked their grapes and how they treated the vineyard during that during that time, really lets you make reliable choices as far as your wine selection. And we've tasted as a team hundreds and hundreds and hundreds yeah. of wines Endless. from the vintage. And continue to. Yeah. Um, but when we stand behind a wine, we really stand behind its quality. And I think with the the producers that you know and trust, you can always trust them. Absolutely. If they're, they're gonna... if they're producing a wine in a vintage. You can be sure that they're producing uh, the best that they can do and, and showing representation of, of their work. Very well said, Laura. Thank you. Cheers to that.